StatCrunch can also be used to create graphical displays for numeric data. In this case, we have interval ratio data that was collected as the creatine concentrations for a sample of 36 adults. To open the data set in StatCrunch, it was also posted in the group that you joined, depending upon what section you were in. So if we click on that data set name, it will open in StatCrunch, and you can see that our first column in the StatCrunch worksheet now contains the measurements for our sample of adults. A histogram is another type of graphical display, so it stands to reason that that's located under your graphics menu. If we select histogram, again you'll have your pop-up window that allows you to select which column you'd like to create a graph for. In our case, there's only one column, so we're going to click on CK, which moves it into our gray box. If you click Next, you can choose, again, whether you do a frequency histogram or a relative frequency histogram. The choice is yours. Frequency will show the number of observations within a certain range, while relative frequency will show the percentage. If you click Next two more times, you'll get to the point where you can provide labels for the graph that you're going to create. In our case, our x-axis label will be CK concentration. Unfortunately, the book that this example was taken from had no units, um, so I can't put a unit of measurement with my label. The y-axis is going to be our frequency of observations. Now, like with the pie chart and bar graph, we'd like to provide some type of a descriptive title. So in our case, we have a histogram of CK concentrations for a sample of 36 adults. And finally, in the lower right-hand corner, if you click Create Graph, the histogram that's given in your notes will be created. Now, as was the case with the pie chart and with the bar graph, you can choose to export these or any graph that you create to your My Results folder. So if we were to click Export to My Results, again, it asks for a title. You probably want to be relatively descriptive in your title, otherwise they can get quite confusing. And if you were to click Export, what's going to happen is that histogram will now appear in your My Results for this data bar that's on the left-hand side of your screen.